Light and Rising Stars, and hello, Angel. We are coming to you live from my house because we are still at home, and Birdie is still at home, and hopefully you're still at home staying isolated so that you're not spreading any germs to anyone. Uh, you'll notice that we look like we're in a little bit different place right now because I moved where we're filming because eventually we're going to head over to the sink and do something special. But let's take a look at the calendar over here. I'm going to turn the camera. And I have already moved the date for today. You'll see that I've already moved today to the 19th. Today marks one week that we've been home from school. It is Thursday, March 19th, 2020. Yesterday was the 18th. Today is the 19th. And tomorrow is the 20th. We want to say here's some good news. What's that? Happy first day of spring. Happy first day of spring. Um, your mom told me it was the first day of spring, but I thought the first day of spring was the 21st. Well, it usually is the 21st, mm -hmm. but the grass saw it shadow. Oh, so the groundhog tells us that today is the first day of spring. Excellent. Excellent. Um, well, since we're still at home and since we need to stay clean, uh, let's sing the hand washing song. Uh, somebody called me out yesterday and said I did not do the hand motions correctly and that we need to watch Birdie and make sure that we are getting the tops and bottoms of both of our hands because somebody noticed that I was only getting the top and bottom of one of my hands and that's no good. We want to stay nice and clean. So are you ready to sing with me, Bird? Here we go. Tops and bottoms, tops and bottoms, in between, in between, rub them both together, scrub them all together, now they're clean, squeaky clean. Nice, and we need to make sure that we're not touching our faces and that we're wiping things down when we're done to make sure that our families stay healthy with us while we are stuck here at home uh, because it looks like we're going to be here for a while. If this is week one, um, we're home for another three weeks. Bertie, I think your school is home for another three weeks too. Um, for our Kaiden... Yep, including spring break. Uh, for our Kaiden families, remember if you are in need of food, uh, that there is a, a pickup, a sack lunch and sack breakfast pickup at 59 schools in the Detroit district. So please take a look at the Detroit website um, to find out the nearest one to your house so that you can make sure that you and your family uh, stay fed and healthy through this time because we know that it is a challenging time. Um, Birdie, last time I was at your house, you had a book of jokes. Would you be willing to share a couple of jokes with us today? Yes. All right. Yeah. How do you know when a bad singer is at your door? A bad singer. How do you know when a bad singer is at your door? Mm, maybe they can't, they don't know how to ring the bell. They can't find the key like you sing in a key. That's funny. That's a cute joke. All right. Got another one for us? Yes, I do. Okay. What do, what do you get when you cross a jelly? When you cross jelly and a musician? Uh, what do you get when you cross jelly with a musician? Oh, um, a sandwich i don't know i can't think a jam session a jam session get it the musicians jam on their instruments that's a funny one too good jokes very punny um i'd like to read the book now before we head over to the sink the question of the day. oh i totally forgot the question of the day you're right bird we've recorded this a couple of times today we've made mistakes so our order is all screwed up today all right question of the day bird go ahead Uh, Birdie, what do you like? Neither. <laughs> Neither. Tell us why. I was so stunned when she said this the first time. Why don't you like either? Never had any. She's never had, 
Never had cotton candy? I've never had cotton candy or milk uh, That's so surprising to me. Although your family are a family of healthy eaters, so it's not too surprising. I've had both, and Kaiden Rising Stars, maybe you remember when we were at the circus last year and we tried cotton candy. Um, and I love cotton candy. You put it in your mouth and it just melts into sugar on your tongue. Uh, but I also like milkshakes. So if I had to pick, I think I would pick milkshakes. So you can let us know what you like in the comments below. Cotton candy or milkshakes. Both sweet things for today, the first day of spring. Um, I'm going to read this book to us today called Percy Gets Upset by Stuart J. Murphy. You know, sometimes staying at home um, with your family, maybe you've got brothers and sisters at home, or maybe it's just grown-ups at your house. Um, I don't know. Are you getting a little cranky staying at home, Bertie? A little bit, kind of? Not too much yet? Well, good. Some people I've heard are getting a little cranky already, and they're having a hard time following directions when their families ask them because they're getting frustrated. So I thought this might be a good book to read today, our first week of being at home with our families. So Percy Gets Upset by Stuart J. Murphy. Percy looked everywhere. I can't find my other shoe, he said. Keep looking, said his mommy. It's time to go over to Frida's to play. Percy stamped his foot. He was frustrated. Where's my shoe? I can't find it. I can't find it. Calm down, said his mommy. Here it is, right under the chair. Take a look. Can you see the, where the tennis shoe is, where his shoe is? Take a look. Do you see it? Right under the chair. Maybe he wasn't looking very carefully. Can I see? Yeah. Can I see? You sure can. Oh, I see it. Yeah, it's under the chair. Percy and Frida played hide and seek. Percy's mommy came to the gate. We have to go home now, Percy, she said. It's almost time for dinner. Percy scowled. He was grouchy. I want to play. I won't go. I won't go. Percy, try to stop and think, said his mommy. You can play with Frida again tomorrow. When they got home, Percy's daddy had dinner ready. Look at the nice meal I made, he said. Let's sit down and eat. Percy put his hands on his hips. He was cranky. Do you ever put your hands on your hips when you're cranky, bird? Sometimes. Like sometimes. I do that a lot. I put my hands on my hips. <clears throat> I'm mad. I don't want to. I'm not hungry. I'm not hungry. Take a deep breath, said his daddy. Then try a few bites. Fo good food is good for you. Percy finally ate his meal. Before bed, his daddy read him a funny story. Then his mommy called. It's time to go to sleep, Percy. Percy crossed his arms. I'm angry. I always say I'm not tired because I never am when it comes to sleeping. Yeah, but you usually fall asleep pretty quickly once you go to bed, don't you, Bird? Or do you lay awake sometimes? I want to... It depends. When I've been over at your house and you've had to go to bed when I've been there, you fall asleep pretty quickly unless you're worried about what the grown-ups are doing and you're curious. Per I have good ears, okay? I once heard a train at midnight. It's true. You do have good ears. I want to stay up, says Percy. I'm not tired. I'm not tired. Sounds just like you, Bertie. You're really upset, Percy, said his mommy. Do you want to talk about it? It's nice that his family is being patient, don't you think? Yeah. I just want to stay up, sputtered Percy. 
it's late, said his daddy as he tucked him in. Let's count to ten together, said his mommy. Maybe you'll feel better in the morning. By the time they got to nine, Percy's eyes had closed. The next morning, Percy woke up early. He made he quietly made his way down the hall. Then he leaped into the kitchen. Guess what? Percy shouted. What? asked his daddy. Tell us, said Mommy. They're eating fruit for breakfast. It looks delicious. Percy smiled. He was happy. I'm not upset anymore. I want to have fun. So there were some things in this book. Let me see if there's one more page. Oh, there's not. That was the end of the story. There were some things in this book that were strategies for things that we could do when we were upset. Bertie, do you remember some of them? And count to ten. Count to ten. That's an excellent strategy. If you're feeling upset, like you're going to say something mean, you could count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and calm down. So we could do that. What else could we do? Not worry about it. Uh, that's not one of the strategies. We could try to not worry about it, try to not think about it. Maybe we could talk about it with somebody that we trust. Yeah, talk we about could it. talk about it. That was one of the strategies. We could... <gasps> What's that? Take deep breath. Take a deep breath when we're feeling upset and frustrated. We could stop and think. We could try to just try to calm down. So... Um, those are some ideas of things that we can do when we're starting to feel upset. If you're starting to feel upset and cranky being at home, those are all good strategies, right? Yeah. Um, all right. While Percy was feeling upset, but his family had him eating some healthy food, and my concern is that we might run out of some healthy food at our house, so I'm going to grow some healthy food at our house, and I'm going to have you watch along as I'm doing that. So I'm going to turn the camera over here so that we can see what's going on at the sink. And I'm going to turn Birdie. So you won't be able to see Birdie. You'll just be able to see maybe the back of the computer. All right, Bird, can you see the sink okay here? Kind of. All right. So what I have, um, they are old seeds, but they are seeds nonetheless. Um, I have some seeds. These are called fenugreek seeds. And we're going to sprout those and see what they look like and taste like. And I have this little tray here that I'm going to put them in. So I'm going to take a spoonful of these fenugreek seeds maybe two. I'm going to put two spoonfuls in. I wish you were here and could smell them because they smell a little bit like syrup. They have a sweet smell to them. So I'm going to take those seeds and I'm going to turn the water on. I'm going to run the water over them to get them wet and moist. And then I'm going to stack them up, stack it up right here so the water doesn't drip onto my counter. And then I have some more seeds. I'm going to do the same thing with these red clover seeds. Look how much smaller these seeds are. They're quite tiny. Bird, I'm going to show them to you. Can you see them okay? Yeah. Yeah. They're tiny. Um, clover is a lot like the shamrocks that we were talking about earlier this week. Yeah. Um, so kind of interesting that we're growing some clover. I don't think we'll let them get big enough to become four leaf clovers, but I put a spoonful of them in my tray. Oh, I don't know if you can see them there. You can see them in there. Um, I'm going to do the same thing, get them wet. 
and I'll let the water drip out and we'll stack those up in my sprouting tray once they rinse through. I kind of want them spread out a bit so they don't all clump together. But I can stack that up and put it right on top. And the last one that I'm going to put in are broccoli seeds. Birdie's getting the first look at these. These are a little bit bigger than the clover. They're rounder. They are rounder, but they're not as big as the fenugreek seeds. And they for sure do not smell as delicious as the fenugreek seeds. So we'll see. We'll take a look at these every day and see what's happening to them. But what I'll do is every morning and every night, I will rinse them so that they're getting some water and they will start to sprout. Now these aren't gonna grow into full size plants, but they'll be things that like we could use to eat a salad. So um, Birdie, what I might do, do you have any jars at your house? Yeah. Um, do you have any pieces of fabric at your house, like an old sock or something? Yeah. Because you, people could grow these seeds at home without this fancy tray that I've got. They put them in a jar and they cover it with water. So I might walk over to Birdie's house and just leave a little package on her porch so she can grow them along with us. But if you've got some beans, some dried beans at home or some seeds, maybe that's something that you could try um, and do some sprouting and see what's gonna grow. Since if it's the first day of spring, we like to think about things growing in spring. So thanks for being with us today. Thanks for watching. Wash your hands, eat something healthy, be kind. We love you, bye. Bird, you gonna say goodbye? She says bye. Talk to you later.